Hey, you know who it is. It's your boy, Shooter the Investor. I'm checking in for the gang and gang. I got a hot one for you. This is a exchange video. I am updating my top exchanges for 2023. I know there's been a lot of drama with crypto exchanges since the FTX. You even had Celsius issues last year. I want to give you my top, I guess, four or five exchanges. I really didn't rank these in no particular order. These are exchanges that I actually use, buy, sell, but most importantly, transfer my crypto to my cold wallets. Now, before I get into this topic, I do want to put out there, yes, I use exchanges. Do I hold crypto on the exchanges? I try not to. I like to put my credit my crypto on my nano ledger right i have several of these i like to put these on my ledger my cold wallet and store my crypto keys um, on these wallets instead of having them in exchange for the reasons why ftx celsius i mean kraken's even getting uh, some bad news as, as of lately as well too honestly it's i'd rather be safe than sorry I know a lot of these centralized exchanges, the ones I'm going to speak of, talk about, they have great staking rewards, but believe it or not, and I'll probably get into that as well too in this video is that the ledger, you can actually stake some, some of your tokens or coins <clears throat> on the ledger as well too. So we'll talk about that, but I just wanted to put that disclaimer out there. Yes, I'm highly, I talk about security and importance of keeping your crypto safe. I use these exchanges to buy, sell, and transfer buy, sell, and transfer. There are some coins that I do keep on these particular exchanges, and I'll tell you why once we go through them. So let's go ahead and get into the first exchange that I love to use and I've been using for quite some time. I actually started using this exchange when I first started trading crypto back in 2015, 2016 timeframe. And I'm talking about none other than Coinbase. Coinbase exchange, man, one of my favorite exchanges to buy, sell, and transfer crypto. Since 2015, 2016, when I started, the user experience, the user interface have just grown. It's just so easy to use. It's It feels good when you're using it. And I, for me, I am very focal. I focus on UI UX. I'm in that field. I'm in that tech space. And I like using apps that kind of are simple to use, honestly. Not only is this one of the most simple, most feature rich applications to use, it also provides a great platform to learn about the basics of cryptocurrency too. And they actually allow you to earn some free crypto by taking a couple of quiz. And it's not hard to take the quiz. They actually give you opportunity to fail and try again. So they really wanna give you this free money just to learn about cryptocurrency. So it's pretty dope. As you can see, the future of money is here. Over 108 million people and business trust, trust use to buy, sell, and manage their crypto. Now, if you're not familiar, Coinbase has partnerships. They have a partnership with the NBA. They have a partnership with the Philadelphia 76ers. They have a, a sponsor partnership. If you ever noticed the 76ers, they have those patches on their, um, or not just the 76ers, but the NBA teams have patches on their jerseys. The 76ers struck a deal with Coinbase, so you kind of see that there. Now, me telling you that doesn't mean like, oh my God, Coinbase is the best thing going. I'm just letting you know that they have big time partnerships. It's very important to have these partnerships, even though with FTX, having partnerships in the MLB and with the Miami arena and everything, you can still see that, you know, when you're dealing with evil, greedy people, it just sucks, right? It just puts a damper on everything. But, you know, just some information about Coinbase. Now, what can you do on this on this exchange besides buy and sell? Well, you can definitely earn rewards. USDC, that's becoming everyone's favorite stable coin understanding why USDT is having their little issues as well too. A lot of questions about that, but you can earn USDC by just buying and holding that 1.5%. That's better than any bank that's out there in high interest saving account. 1.5% APY is awesome. And of course, stablecoin USD is always named by one-to-one, -one, which is pegged to the US dollar. So you simply hold USD in your Coinbase and you can earn. You can get up to $400 in rewards with Coinbase. Coinbase users can earn up to $400 in the average just by taking advantage of our reward system. You can start earning here, right? If I click on this, it'll show you some coins, right? The graph. Uh, you can stake your crypto up to 5.75% APY on these selected tokens here. Now, I will say this, stake 
tokens, their earn system. They don't have that many tokens on there as some of the other ones, but it's a good start. Another thing that I love about Coinbase is the Coinbase card. Let me tell you about this card, and I got a video about the card that you need to go check it out. I personally use this card to pay for like utilities, Amazon orders, et cetera. The reason why is that you every 30 days, you can pick up to like four or five different cryptocurrencies, and they have a different percentage rate. And basically, you can earn Bitcoin, Ethereum, the Graph, and a Stellar, whatever, whatever they decide to pick, you can earn percentage per transaction. So let's say I pay my mortgage, right? And I'm getting 4% off my mortgage. And let's say my mortgage is five grand. I live in California, so that's not a far-fetched number, right? 5% or excuse me, five grand. And I'm every time I use my transaction on my Coinbase card for a transaction, I receive 4%. So you get 4% of five grand return to you in whatever token that you select. Now, it's not always 4%. You might get 1% Bitcoin, 1% ETH. What I do, what my hack is, I pick the highest percentage cryptocurrency. So let's say it's Stellar and I'm getting 4% off of Stellar. I'll get the 4% off the 5,000, take that reward money and just go buy the Bitcoin F ETH. Because sometimes, the majority of times, ETH is about 1%, Bitcoin is about 1%, maybe 1.5%. So the smart play is to take the higher crypto asset with the that yields the highest reward, take that, convert it over into something else that you want. So it's pretty cool. You get a little, get some money back when you're using the card. I like the card. You can use the virtual card that's on your phone. And then you have the hard physical copy, which I have as well, too. So you can use it just like a visa. You can take money off of it. And it's just a top up, right? It's kind of like you take your money from your bank account, you buy USDC, and therefore it comes eligible for you to use your car. So I think my personal opinion, you can't beat it. Again, these high interest rates from the bank, they're not giving you 1%. They're not giving you 4% on any cash back. You might, depending on different credit cards that you might use, you might can get that 4% rewards and back. Mostly Amex, some Capital One as well, too. But you can't beat the card. I definitely co sign the Coinbase card for sure. Um, also on Coinbase, not only do they have a centralized exchange where you can buy cryptocurrencies, they also have a uh, hot wallet or a decentralized wallet uh, known as the Coinbase wallet. And that's this right here. Let me see if it pops up. And these are my hot wallets, right? So you can kind of see it's the same little logo, right? Right there where my thumb is. And so there, what I do, I'll take the centralized buyings from the actual Coinbase. And if I can't transfer it to my cold ledger, meaning my cold ledger doesn't support that particular coin, I'll just transfer it over to my Coinbase wallet, which the hot wallet is a form of self-custody as well. Now, it's not 100% self-custody, but you still have self-custody in the sense of anything happens to Coinbase, your coins are over into that hot wallet. You still own those, those keys to transfer them to different wallets um, so you can cash out. So again, I don't like keeping my cryptocurrency sitting on the centralized exchange. If they have a hot wallet in conjunction, I always move it over there or I move it to my cold wallet. All right, go check out my video about, I explain the difference between hot and cold wallets. So Coinbase, Coinbase is definitely one of the uh, exchanges that the light to use. They have a lot of different features. They have Coinbase One. It's another membership where you sign up. I want to say it's like $29 a month. The cool thing about it is that you don't get charged fees because those fees, when you're trading crypto a lot, they can add up. And if you're like someone like me who use Coinbase a lot to buy a lot of my cryptocurrency, having that monthly subscription sounds like, oh, another monthly subscription a day. But if those fees start accumulating more than the $29 or $39 a month, it makes sense to eliminate those fees where you can still move crypto freely with fee-less. Fee-less. Is that a word? It's going to be a word today. <laughs> so definitely check out Coinbase, man. I got a, um, a affiliate code where if you sign up using Coinbase, we both get $10 worth of Bitcoin. There's some requirements or whatever the case might be. Check it out. But the link is definitely in my, my description below. The next exchange on the list, and I like using them as well, too. They offer a little bit different features that I like to use is KuCoin. Now, if you live in the United States, if you're a United States resident, there are two 
exchanges that will allow you to buy XRP. I'm going to be talking about both of them, but the first one is KuCoin. KuCoin is one of the exchanges. If you are a U.S. resident, I don't know about Canada, et cetera, U.S. Res resident, you can buy XRP. XRP is still listed on here. Now, let's talk about KuCoin. I use KuCoin a little bit different than the other exchanges. Again, I use it to buy XRP. And I also use it for spot trading. Spot trading is kind of like options trading in the crypto world, going long and going short. I like using KuCoin for that. I also use KuCoin as my designated wallet for my payouts for my mining devices. So if you guys don't know, I mine KDA, Ethereum, Classic now, Bitcoin, et cetera, and Helium. And so I have that set up where my rewards go directly to KuCoin. Um, so that's why those are one of couple of reasons how reasons why I use KuCoin. Now, one thing I did just figure out, and I kid you, like literally like 10 minutes ago, KuCoin now has a DeFi wallet, a self-custody wallet, uh, which I'm going to be setting up here shortly. I just downloaded the app. I'll show you right here. Hold on real quick. Put my pen code in. I just downloaded this right here at the bottom. Let me see if it pop up right there uh kucoin wallet so i just download that i don't have too much information on it just yet i literally just downloaded before i started uh start uh started this video so i'm definitely gonna be checking that out and moving over my holdings over into the kucoin as soon as i figure out how to use it again another hot wallet you want that self custody self custody is important um if you already have kucoin and didn't know about this wallet you come to the website it'll take you to uh it'll take you to the official official ways to download it. Be very wary. Always go to these official sites. I know you can go to your store, type it in. Me personally, I go to the website and look for the actual buttons here because I just don't trust people. <laughs> I don't trust people. There's been known for people to put out fake apps. And once you log in, they will swipe you. No swipers. You know what I'm saying? So keep that in mind. When you're dealing with crypto, unfortunately, it is what it is. You just got evil people in the world, man. Um, KuCoin. But yeah, KuCoin, dozens of crypto projects. They got a bunch of your shit coins in there, too, as well. If you like to be a degenerate trader, there's a lot of those on there. Uh, the, they have the markets. They got the spot trading. They, I mean, mer uh, margin trading as well, too. They have a trading bot. I never used their trading bots before. Um, and then you can also earn crypto, crypto lending. You can do KuCoin Earn, uh, Spotlight, uh, just a bunch of stuff, man. Exceed, and they also have the KuCoin Pool as well, too. That's for your hash rates and for your mining, et cetera, et cetera. Cloud mining, et cetera. NFTs as well. KuCoin, another great place. A lot of educational tools on here as well, too. Teach you about the basics of cryptocurrency. And they got all your hot ones. Like I said, BC, BTC, ETH, APE. Like all your all your freaking like top layer ones, layer twos. And like I said, you may even have some shit coins that, that get listed to exchange too. Just be careful with those, right? Uh, beautiful app, beautiful features, uh, beautiful charts, super easy to use. It's a I would say Coinbase is a lot easier to use the cool coin. There is some hacks that you have to do when you're buying XRP, like you gotta I'll make a video about how to buy XRP on KuCoin because I don't want to explain it and take up time. So that's my second exchange that they use. Now, the second, the third exchange, but second exchange that allow you to buy XRP is none other than Uphold. Uphold. Uphold app is awesome. I like Uphold a lot. Again, it allows me to buy XRP, which you guys know I'm a big fan of, but it allows me to buy XRP a lot easier than KuCoin. And again, I'll make a video about how to buy XRP on KuCoin to break those steps down. But this particular application allowed me to buy XRP just like if I'm using KuCoin or Binance USA. You attach your card to it or banking it, your banking information and you literally pick XRP and you can buy it straight from the app. No questions asked with a small fee. It's great. I like it. Another cool thing about Uphold is not only is it a application for cryptocurrency it also has stocks on there as well too so the cool thing about it is not the cool thing about that is that you get a, a different layer of security in the sense of having you guys ever heard of fdic right you have these different uh asset protectors when you're using this app so there are registered in the uk us and austria i want to say in austria as well too 
Uh, so you get that level of insurance and protection, right? So they only have about 250 cryptocurrencies and stable coins, 27 national currencies, and multiple precious metals. So you can also buy gold. You can buy platinum off this junk. Like it's a crazy dope, sick app as well. You can buy, sell your assets. You can transfer your assets to your cold wallet. When I buy XRP, I seamlessly transfer that off the exchange onto my cold wallet. And I know you're thinking like, B, you said it's, it's secure. Listen, man, first thing in crypto, trust nothing. <laughs> trust no one, trust no exchange. Uh, verify everything, right? So at the end of the day, again, I believe in XRP. I need that off the let. I need that off any exchange and onto my ledger for safekeep. You know what I'm saying? So they have your popular ones: Bitcoin, XRP, ETH, Doge, Dot, Solana. I mean, they got a bunch of coins, decent size, right? Uh, one thing I did want to mention too about Uphold. Now, I mentioned the Coinbase app has the Coinbase wallet. I mean, the card, the hard card, right? Uphold has their own privacy. Sorry, guys. Uh, Uphold has their own debit card made by uh sponsored by MasterCard. Not only do you get rewards, you get four percent rewards on XRP. Now you can't pick different cryptocurrencies, but you can receive four percent on XRP per transaction up to fifty dollars a month. Did y'all hear me? 4% reward kickback on XRP up to $50 a month. So yeah, I definitely use this to buy. I use this particular car for big purchases. Like I'm a season ticket holder for a lot of different sporting teams. That's another investment, I guess, side hustle that I do that I'm definitely going to explain to y'all guys one of these days. I take my uphold car and I buy my season tickets um, with these different teams. It could be from basketball, soccer, football, et cetera. And so I get that 4% back in XRP. I mean, it's freaking awesome. Now, what happens if it exceeds over $50? It rolls over to the next month. So you're still not, you're still going to get that money. Even if it exceeds $50, it's just per month you can get up to $50. So if you get like $75 back, it's going to give you $50 roll over to $25 for the next month or whatever you accumulate within that month. So you're going to get that money. That money is not lost in the sauce. You dig? So uphold. For, that's one of the main reasons why I use it. One of the main reasons why I, how I use the upcode card. I do do some virtual purchasing. If it's Amazon, if I'm spending a lot of money on Amazon, like I got two kids. So it's like, I just bought new bunk bags, right? And so the bunk bags are like $400, $500, right? For the bunk beds, mattress and all that type of stuff. I'll use my uphold card because I want that 4% kickback automatically. If Coinbase is not offering 4.4% on anything and just 1%, then I'll just ultimately just use my, my uphold card. So that's how you kind of finesse the system. It's a good way to get some rewards back, especially if you believe in XRP. It's a good way to accumulate some XRP. Hey, I'm just giving out the information, man. You do what you want you did. And so the last exchange that I like to use as well, too, because they do offer other coins that the other three that I mentioned don't. And they also provide decent staking amounts. Now, I don't <laughs> I don't keep a large amount on the any exchange, but this exchange in, per, in particular because of the, you know, the, the risk. But Binance USA, Binance USA, Binance is the biggest exchange. It's the OG of the exchanges. They've been catching a little, little flack in the news lately with their stable coin, even though their stable coin is ran by another company, but it's still attached to Binance. They still been kind of catching some bad news. But personally, I feel comfortable using an e actually keeping some cryptocurrency. Now, Binance do have a DeFi wallet. It's Trust Wallet. Binance owns Trust Wallet. So you can always take your coins off that and put it on that hot wallet. Or you can just put it on the cold wallet, however you do. For me personally, I am I am keeping my I keep a, a V chain on there because they offer one of the highest APYs. I don't know, yo. If you're if you're staking V chain, let me know where you're staking at and let me know with the APY. Let me know if it's beating over two percent. I looked at a lot of different wallets, a lot of different staking platforms, and like it's hard getting like one percent staking for VJ. Now, granted, it's again, it's more than a, it's more than your typical bank, but still, like I see in other other crypto projects that get like six, eight, five, ten percent, and like VJ is always stuck being like like two percent. So, if you know any, let me know in the comments below. Anyways, back to Binance. Binance, 
same as the other crypto current crypto uh, exchanges that I mentioned. Personally, like I said, I use it for, to stake V chain. I stake my V chain and like some other uh, coins as well too, like Rose, uh, Rose Protocol. I mean, Oasis Protocol. Excuse me. Um, and I can't think of somebody. I, something else. I can't think of it. But yeah, just another out. Just another exchange that for me um, allows me to to buy and stake other other uh, cryptocurrency. So, and all these are super easy to set up. You're gonna have to do KYC, know your customer. That's where you input like your social security, your um, your ID, take pictures of your ID for verification. You do get a tax, tax document at the end of the year uh, from your buyings and sellings and holdings. Uh, so you do have to file your taxes in your cryptocurrency uh, just to put that out there. But yeah, these are the four. So Coinbase, KuCoin, Uphold and Binance USA. I use Binance USA because I live in North America. If you live outside of North America, North America, then you'll be using um, the regular Binance. Binance, we call it Binance International or OG Binance. But for all my people that live in the U.S., Binance U.S. Now, one thing I do notice is that Binance U.S. and Binance they don't have the same amount of cryptocurrencies. I don't know why. I don't know if they're going to be getting more. We'll have to wait and see. The reason why we use so many different exchanges is because some coins or tokens do not exist or are listed on these exchanges. That's why we use so many different exchanges um, to counter counteract that, right? So, you know, when people say, "Why you gotta? Why we just can't use one?" Well, prime example, uh, Fetch AI is not no no that's a horrible example because they actually fetches on all four of these uh i'm trying to think of one off the top of my head um uh xrp all right so xrp only exists on two of the four that i mentioned right cool coin and uphold it's not on binance usa and it's not coinbase if you're a fan of xrp then you want to play a, go somewhere where you can actually buy it now i don't have to turn a vpn on as most people try to most people do as a hack i can just go to one of the two exchanges that i mentioned right for xrp Let's say if Shiba Inu, right? For the Shiba Inu has only exist on Binance USA. Then if you really want Shiba Inu, you want a place where you can buy it, right? If Doge is only on Coinbase, you want to buy Doge, it's only on Coinbase, right? So it's good to have multiple trap houses, like what I like to call it, places where you can store your crypto. But the most important thing is making sure if they have a DeFi wallet that allows you self-custody or a hot wallet, Make sure you download download that app so you can transfer off the C, the centralized exchange over into the decentralized application, or even better, invest a couple of hundred dollars and go get you a ledger. Uh, I think it's very very important to have that in as an investment if you can afford it. If you can't afford it, the hot wallet hot wallet will suffice. But eventually, you do want to get that cold wallet. In my personal opinion, there's several different cold wallets out there. Check out the video. I might do, I will do an updated video for 2023 about the cold wallets and break those all the way down. Now, if you have a coin that you like and you don't know where to buy it, I'm gonna show you something real quick. This is CoinMarketCap, right? CoinMarketCap.com, it's owned by Binance, right? If you are looking for a particular coin and you're not sure where to buy it, let's just say, I'm going to use fetch, right? That's the first coin that pops into my head. Fetch.iai. It'd be nice if I spell it right, huh? So we got fetch.ai, right? I'll select fetch and I'll come here to this little tab where it says markets. You click on markets and it shows you exactly where fetch is located. And boom, off the top, it has Binance, Coinbase Exchange, which is Coinbase, KuCoin. Right. Um, and I know it's on uphold because I'm staking it on there. I don't think it's going to show uphold on here because it's technically not a crypto exchange because it sells stocks and metals on it as well, too. Right. And so that's how you can find some of these, some of your favorite tokens right off the gate instead of jumping on there and trying to figure out where they are. And what in that case, Internet, when I mean Twitter or asking random people because people don't have your best interest. Right. You can come to CoinMarketCap. You click on, type in, in a search, come to markets now. Or you can come up here at the top where it says exchanges. And this gives you a list of the exchanges, right? That offer spot, derivatives, uh, um, uh, your DEXs, which is your decentralized exchanges, 
exchanges and then your lending as well. So these are ranked between the top. Binance on pretty much is number one. Coinbase follow. Kraken's catching a little slack right now. So be very cautious. Um, and then another tidbit, if you're on an exchange and it does not allow you to transfer your crypto off the exchange, that's a red flag to me. It used to be like that with Weibo and Red uh, uh, Robinhood. I think they have created a crypto wallet that allows you now to transfer off their platform. I'll do a video about those two as I do some research and confirm that first. Um, but back in the day, that wasn't the case. And a lot of people will go buy off of Webull and Robinhood because it was super easy and they were already buying stocks off there, but you didn't own, you were leasing pretty much. You didn't own any other crypto and you couldn't move it. That's a red flag for me. If you can't move your crypto off the exchange, that's a huge red flag. I personally wouldn't use it. I'm just saying, you do what you want, you're grown. <laughs> but here's a list of other cryptocurrencies. Another one that I didn't mention or break down was crypto.com exchange. I do use crypto.com. There are some coins on there that are not on other exchanges as well, too. Um, and they also have a DeFi wallet called the crypto.com uh, wallet or DeFi wallet. Excuse me. Definitely one of the ones I didn't want to mention because I didn't want to make this video longer than what it is. But definitely check out crypto.com. I personally like them as well, too. I buy a, a lot of coins that are not listed on the other four. So that I gave you a, number, a fifth one freebie off the gate. So, yeah, exchanges 2023, man. Those are my exchanges that I use. These are exchanges that I have on my phone right now. I'll show you real quick. Um, right. Boom. These are exchanges that I use. As you can see, crypto.com, Binance USA, Coinbase, KuCoin, Uphold. Those are my centralized exchanges. And then on my hot wallets or the decentralized, I find the pairings. I got the wallet, which is Coinbase wallet, DeFi wallet. That is the crypto.com trust wallet. That's for Binance. Exodus, I use that wallet as well, too. And KuCoin, KuCoin wallet, which I just downloaded recently. So I'm going to do some digging on that and set up my account for that. And make sure you keep your key phrases somewhere safe. Preferably write them down. Usually just 12. They're usually 12 random words or 24 random words. And they give you, they protect, that's a security form of security for your hot wallet. So make sure you write them down. Keep them somewhere safe and a lot. Safe and a safe. Keep them safe in a safe. Or maybe you want to put them in some type of lockbox at the bank. I don't know. You store how you must. But the most importantly, secure your bags. Secure your bags. If you didn't learn anything today, secure your bags. Use these central license changes for what they're worth. Buy, sell, transfer your crypto to cold wallets or hot wallets. Secure your bags. 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 I think I beat, I think I beat the dead horse long enough. Hey, it's your boy, Shooter and Investor. I checked in for the gang. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up, share it with your people and them, leave a comment. Let's talk about it. Let me know what some of your favorite cryptocurrency wallets um, that you're currently using or cryptocurrency exchanges that you're currently using. And also let me know if you're using hot wallet or cold wallet. Let me know. Let's chit. Let's talk. Let's talk about it. Anyways, man, you know, as much, you know, it ain't nothing but love for y'all. I appreciate y'all rocking with the kid. I'm out, man. Peace. Secure the bag. Make sure you secure the bag, baby. You can't go outside out here not securing the bag. <laughs> Peace.